St. Pauli and Hamburg. Two clubs, two different footballing worlds, playing in the same city. And as of this season, for the first time in years, the same division. Hamburg were finally relegated last season after about half a decade of struggle and decay. They weren't too pleased about it. Because they prided themselves on being the only club to have played in every single season in the Bundesliga since it's been up and running. But one bonus of getting uh, relegated is that you get to play the derby twice a year. That's a pleasure that the supporters here haven't had for seven years. Ever since Haas relegation was sealed, both sets of fans have been eagerly looking forward to this fixture. And for months ahead of the match, they've been warming up by fortifying the fault lines that run through the city. The north side over there of the Reeperbahn is Pauli territory, right? And the south side, which we're currently on, is Haas Foul territory. Now, back in August, a group of Pauli fans organized a, a concert at a pub which is on the south side. The highest foul fans decided that that was a provocation. It was an incursion into their territory and a group of about 100 of them rocked up and just shut the place down. But for some of the Hamburg fans, the fun doesn't stop at spoiling the other side's parties. A few weeks ago, the highest foul fans held up a banner at their game come on and indulge us at last, 100 of you, 100 of us. And in reaction to that, Ultra St. Pauli just held up a banner saying, befriedigt endlich unser gear, 1,000 joints, 1,000 beer. Satisfy our lust, we only want 1,000 joints and 1,000 beers. And here are the Haasfau hooligans marching around St. Pauli looking for a fight. They missed the St. Pauli Ultras by minutes that night. Then they decided to send them another macabre message. A couple of nights ago, some Haas Foul fans hung stuffed puppets painted in brown and white and red from bridges around Hamburg, which is obviously a pretty nasty, sinister gesture. It's worth remembering there is actually a football match at the heart of all of this. St. Pauli sold out all of their away tickets for the derby tomorrow in less than half an hour. It's about five and a half thousand fans that they're taking and the tickets were gone in under an hour. So they're putting on a public viewing tomorrow here at the Millentor Stadium. But unfortunately, we've got a press accreditation for the actual match, so can't make it. So, derby day rolls around. All right, it's 25 past nine on Sunday morning. We're in Hamburg. It's pretty cold, but it's about to heat up because today is Derby Day. Hamburg and uh, St. Pauli meeting for the first time since 2011. The Pauli fans are starting early in the morning by meeting at the Millentor Stadium to make the journey to the ground together, noisily. Death and hatred to high as well. It's a bit much, isn't it? They're not that keen on being filmed, so we've done our best to blur faces and keep a respectful distance. It's quite a spectacle, though, with everyone in white. The Ultras have been handing out free T-shirts and their united front is shutting down the streets in San Pauli. Rowdy rubble. The heavy-handed police presence again makes it easy to forget that we're here to watch football. None of the Pauli fans, though, will have forgotten the last time that they made this journey. First derby today since 2011. The last one that happened took place also at the Volksparkstadion away for San Pauli and they left after a 1-0 victory. Scorer, Schalke and St. Pauli legend, Gerald Asamoah. They'll be hoping for a repeat today. All of these cars waiting to get past because the street's been shut for the past 10 minutes while 5,000 Pauli fans stream down the road.
chances of us getting a seat on the S-Bahn within the next hour. Pretty slim. The Hamburg Derby is a meeting of more than just local rivals. It's a tie between a former European great and a contentedly underachieving local community club. Two approaches to football that could hardly be more different. And with the way clear, we've got some catching up to do. Unsurprisingly, the Pauli fans have left their mark in the station. Unfortunately for them, on arrival, so have their opponents. A schoolboy stink bomb stunt by a group of Haas Foul fans has left the terminus smelling unbearable. And we actually saw people vomit from the stench. You can't say they're not taking the derby seriously. There were 2,000 Haas Foul fans come to watch the final training before the derby yesterday. Send them out over there. <laughs> It's been clear for a long time that the potential for trouble today is high. But from what we've seen so far today, the atmosphere actually seems fairly uh, chummy. I have to see what it's like once we get inside. That might have something to do with the police keeping the fans strictly separated all day. Yeah. Hamburg fans, that is, Pauli fans and their respective allies. Yeah. Yeah. International resonance this derby, mate. We've just seen, uh, we've just seen the Glasgow Mirror. Celtic are obviously linked up with uh, St. Pauli, have a little fan friendship, and uh, Hamburg and Rangers as well. Have you ever had um, Hamburg fans visiting at Rangers games? Aye, aye. Banners. Yeah? Aye, aye. A huge connection. Just saw a couple of boys from Rangers who reckon that 250 Rangers fans have come over to watch the game today. Just a shame then that in the end, nobody got what they came for. There were 57,000 fans in the ground, 57,000 for a second division game. But unfortunately for the guests from Glasgow, as for the rest of us, this one couldn't really bear the weight of the expectations. That was fucking pony. <laughs> Just died under the lights a little bit, didn't it? Atmosphere wasn't really up to that much. Football was terrible. I've seen some bad football. I've watched bad football for a living. Nobody really looked like they wanted to go forward and score. Nobody looked like they were playing in a derby. No red cards, no big tackles, no long shots, no aggro. You know, Hamburg lost 5-0 at home to Jan Regensburg in their last home game before this derby. And we've just spoken to a Haas Foul fan who says that they showed more ferocity, more will to win, and played better in that game when they got smashed 5-0 than they did in this 0-0 against St. Pauli. Everyone was hyped up for an enormous bullfight. Just looked like they were having a training match. This, this is the most highly motivated team that's been seen in Hamburg all day. But on the pitch and on the stands, it was fairly uh, underwhelming. I said one nice thing about today is it brought loads of people from all over the place to watch the game. Loads of boys from Glasgow came to watch it. Matey boys from Copenhagen. The problem is, everybody's going home disappointed because that was a pile of rubbish. <laughs> Still, good thing it's only football.